Dear students, today we are going to discuss electrocardiography. Electrocardiography means that electrical activity of the heart is graphically presented. What is a ECG? ECG means electrical activity of the heart is graphically presented or graphic presentation of electrical activity of the heart. So, to really understand the fundamentals of ECG, you must first understand the electrical activity of the heart, right? So, let's talk few words about the electrical activity in the myocardial cells. Here I draw three ventricular myocardial cells and we see what is the electrical activity normally in these cells. Let's suppose this is first myocardial cells, ventricular myocardial, this is second cell and this is the third cell, right? And we see how the electrical activity goes through that, right? Then we'll discuss how that electrical activity can be eventually translated into ECG pattern, fine? Let's suppose that right now these myocardial cells are not stimulated, they are unstimulated. There is no action potential passing through them. Is that right? So we say these myocardial cells are resting. If the cell is electrically resting, right, it must have resting membrane potential. Now what is resting membrane potential? Resting membrane potential is the electrical voltage difference between the inside of the membrane and outside of the membrane. Normally, resting cells of the ventricular myocardium are electrically negative inside, right? For example, the resting membrane potential is minus 90 millivolt in a resting cell. When I say this myocardial cell has minus 90 millivolt resting membrane potential, I mean that in the resting condition, this myocardial cell has its membrane internally polarized negatively, right? Now, what really happens that as soon as the cell is stimulated, right? Now, when there is appropriate stimulation to a myocardial cell, suppose ventricular myocardial cell, if there is appropriate stimulation, what will happen? That its resting membrane potential will reach to the threshold, right? As I said, resting membrane potential is minus 90 millivolt, is that right? And this is minus 90. If we stimulate the cell, then some cations will come in, some positive charges will come in. Let's suppose that we bring some sodium or calcium ions in. If we bring some electropositive ions in, what will happen? That this electropositivity which is coming into cell after the stimulation, this will take the resting membrane potential towards less negative value because these positive charges will neutralize the electronegativity. Is that right? To some extent. So what really happens? As soon as positive charges are coming in, resting membrane potential is becoming less negative. For example, it becomes minus 80 and then it becomes minus 70 millivolt, right? Now, as soon as resting membrane potential from minus 90 millivolt, right, it moves towards the threshold potential. And let's suppose in this cell, thresh threshold potential is minus 70, right? Threshold potential is a potential at which membrane of this cell will suddenly open voltage gated sodium channels. These are voltage gated sodium channels and right now these channels are off. These channels are not working. But as soon as you stimulate the cell and some cations are coming in, resting membrane potential start moving towards threshold. As soon as it touches the threshold, voltage gated sodium channels open up. As soon as voltage gated sodium channels open in the cell membrane, lot of sodium comes in. Lot of sodium is 
coming in. Why? Because normally sodium is more outside the cell. Is that right? And normally cell is electrically negative inside. So as soon as the resting magnetic potential goes to the threshold voltage, right, then voltage sensitive sodium channels open, a lot of sodium comes in. This sodium as it is rapidly coming into cell is progressively neutralizing the electronegativity and the threshold potential which was minus 70 it will become minus 60 minus 50 minus 40 and eventually it will become zero it means as more and more sodium is coming in this membrane potential is progressively going towards positive value initially it is losing the electronegativity and eventually it may become positive for example it is minus 60 minus 50, 40, 30, 20, minus 10, 0, and even it may become plus 10. So what has happened? That once the voltage gated sodium channels open, a lot of sodiums come in, this movement of sodium inside, right, neutralizes the resting magnetic potential and take it towards electropositivity. And we say the membrane which was previously negatively polarized it has lost its negative polarity what has happened on appropriate stimulation lot of cations came in and these incoming cations neutralize the electronegativity of the membrane so inside of the membrane right which was initially negatively polarized it has lost its negative polarity or we simply say membrane is depolarized when membrane loses the its negative polarity we say membrane is yes please membrane is depolarize so this event is called depolarization current once depolarizing current is produced and we say cell is depolarized what is the next electrical event next event is the depolarization sensitive sodium uh, sorry depolarization sensitive calcium channels and potassium channel both start opening right now, these red channels are calcium channels and these green channels are potassium channels, right? And you must be knowing that in a normal healthy cell, right, it has, its normal healthy cell is very, very rich in potassium. Intracellular potassium is normally more as compared to the extracellular potassium. And extracellular calcium is more normally as compared to intracellular calcium. Now what really happens? Listen, you stimulated the cell, cell underwent, lot of sodium in flux, that led to phenomenon of depolarization, then depolarization sensitive calcium channel, then potassium channels opened. When potassium channels opened, I told you inside of the cell is very rich in potassium. So potassium will start leaking outward. What is happening? Potassium will start moving outward there is efflux e of potassium as soon as efflux of the potassium start it means cell start losing cation start, cell start losing cation it come towards the electronegativity but as soon as it is around zero voltage calcium channels also open so for some time for a very short time potassium keep on moving out and as calcium channels are open so calcium keep on moving and it means for a brief duration potassium as positive charges are lost and calcium as positive charges are gained to the inside of the cell so it means for a brief duration cations are lost as potassium as well as cations are gained as calcium so loss and gain of calcium balances the potential right what really happens that as potassium is being lost at the same time calcium is being gained so there is no net change in potential but as time passes by calcium channel close as time is passing by calcium start calcium channel start closing but as time passes by potassium channels become more and more active so what is the result that